Welcome back. In our previous video, we set up the player controller, which is very long. Took us a little, it was a little over 40 minutes, um, but that's, we did all the heavy lifting um, and not that many videos left to go in this series. In this video, we will be uh, setting up the game mode, which is not going to take long. It's going, it's going to be a very short video. Uh, but before we begin, uh, I just want to say thank you for the new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. It's free. It only takes a second and it really, really helps out the channel. Um, let's get started. Now, I believe in our first video, we set up a game mode blueprint. If you didn't, all you have to do is just right click, go to blueprint and choose game mode base right here. Uh, but we already uh, created that in the first video, so we called this we we called it BP underscore game mode. Double click and open that, and if it doesn't open, let's see. If it doesn't open like this, there should be a button that says open full full blueprint or something like that. Um, but anyway, uh, once we open that up on the right side, you'll see the details panel. Uh, scroll, scroll down to where it says classes and you'll see games, game session class and a bunch of old class default classes that we can set up. First one that we want to change is player controller class. So click player controller and scroll down to your player controller. We named ours BP underscore controller. And the next and final uh, class that we're going to set up is the default pawn. Click none and we that will be our uh, BP underscore character. And I believe that's pretty much it compile and click save close that now I'm going to click play and as you can see where's our character you don't see anything that's because we need to tell the M the, the game engine to use this specific uh, game mode blueprint now there's two ways that you can do this you can go over to uh, the world settings panel on the right and where it says game mode, click none and choose uh, the game mode, the BP underscore game mode and click play. And as you can see, we have our character and we can move and control them around. And we are using this game mode to to connect our character controller or our excuse me our our character blueprint to our character controller. And the cool thing about this is we can let's see we can create another blueprint controller and just make some modifications or changes and stuff like that instead of changing the actual um, character blueprint instead of making a I don't know making another character blueprint or just just fooling around in here we could just make another let's say you have a different mode or something like that maybe a drop maybe the character is driving so you can make another character controller and just switch that in here. But anyway, um, that's one way. So that's connected. The other way you can uh, utilize the um, the game mode is or select the game mode is let's change that back to none. We can do this in the project settings. So go to the top right and click settings and choose project settings on the left hand side where go down to where it says maps and modes 
and at the very top you'll see default modes default game mode and click game mode and choose your we're going to choose bp underscore game mode or whatever you named your game mode and choose that and as you can see there's no game mode selected in uh, in here but you click play and it works now this is going to be global so we're at whichever map you're on um, it's going to use this this game mode so it's probably not a good idea in the long run to actually use this specific game mode your character game mode um, for the default uh, but you can just do that just for the just for the time being in your you know your early development so that's pretty much it for this video uh, be sure to like and subscribe hit that um, notification button and thanks a lot and you guys take care